it's time to die. I have experienced paranormal activity in my house. Fuck, did you guys hear his fucking movements? Oh, many. Oh. It's way too many fake niggas, nigga. I'm tired of fake niggas, nigga. Sleep this and but be all in my face. So I'm gonna get so much freaking dollars that you don't even know it. Ah! Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to the fourth review for the month of Goran. This time I am taking a look at Housebound, which is a New Zealand horror comedy about a woman, a young woman, who is on the downward spiral. She gets caught like trying to rob a ATM, she does drugs, all that stuff. She gets caught and is uh, sent on home detention to her uh, mom's and stepfather's house who she completely despises. She's one of those women out there that just doesn't like anybody. She kind of wants to be alone. She's kind of aggressive and she gets sent back home and then, uh oh, there's some spooky stuff happening. Is there a ghost in the house? Is there something going on where oh there's a past like person that died in this house that's haunting this place and wants to wants to settle an old score because you know they died unjustly or something what's going on that's the story of housebound it's a movie i was really really looking forward to uh, i've heard nothing but amazing things i think this movie has like a 95 percent on rotten tomatoes which is incredible i mean especially since horror movies nowadays aren't really uh considered uh the highest of highest class of cinema uh, but you know when we find a good one a lot of times they are really good so what I think of Housebound let's talk about it now I already explained the story of this movie and the story is great I really like the story especially since the first half is a horror comedy I would say uh, it definitely is there's a, a lot of the typical horror stuff that you come from a ghost I mean that you come to expect from a ghost film like this where oh a hand grabs someone out of nowhere or there's a, 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 a mysterious like shadowy figure uh in the corner or something for like a jump scare the lights go out and then go back on and there's a guy in a hood just standing there you know there's a lot of creepy things like that but what i really like is that the movie mixes the comedy very well in those scenes there's a lot of scenes where it's a jump scare but it's meant to scare you but also make you laugh because it's you know it's meant to be funny and i really like that and that's the first half where it's uh, the daughter, uh, Kylie, her name is, played by Morgana O'Reilly, who, by the way, is excellent in this, uh, but I'll get to that in a second, uh, actually trying to investigate what's going on. Like, at first, she doesn't believe there's a ghost in here. The mother's like, there's a ghost here, I swear. I've seen, I've seen figures in the dark and stuff, and then they disappear when I turn the lights on and all stuff. Uh, and she's like, yeah, that's bull. But then she starts hearing things, hearing, like, creaks in the walls. There's a time where someone grabs her and knocks her down or something, and she's like, okay, there's a ghost here. So she's investigating with her parole officer, uh, which is weird because he's, like, really big into uh, the ghost stuff. He's kind of like a ghost hunter in, like, he's an amateur ghost hunter. And, uh, <laughs> and they have to figure out what's going on. And she's just like... She's just like making up random stories and thinking that's probably what it is. Someone died here and their ghost is here because of this thing. We have to investigate this because this is the main point of the story or whatever. This is the reason why this person came back and is haunting this place. And she's like coming up with stories just to figure out what this ghost is and stuff. And it's, it's really fun watching that, uh, them piece together what could this be. And then the last half of the movie, I would say is still a horror movie, but it's more focused on the comedy because there's a lot of funny, really, really funny moments in the last half. And uh, at that point, you come to really like the characters, and some of them, like, do end up, I wouldn't say getting killed, or, or some of them getting hurt or whatever, but some of them come close to danger, so close to danger that you're like, oh no, oh, don't, because most of these characters are really likable, and there's actually a really good amount of, like, uh, emotional moments and some great clever dialogue and great acting and just some really spooky uh, scenery like the cinematography is great the camera work is excellent uh, the direction is perfect um, and like just the the lighting and stuff like there's a lot of really spooky stuff but then when it gets into the comedy it's just perfect as well like this movie just knocks out of the park on every level characters all of them are likable or at least interesting. The main girl, she is fantastic in this. She is not the typical horror uh, female lead where she's like, you know, half naked. She's got the button up all the way up here so you can see the cleavage and stuff. And she's, uh, I don't know, she's wearing short shorts or whatever. She's not. She's usually just fully clothed. I mean, she's, she's beautiful, but she's not 
she's not meant to be that kind of character. She's very realistic in that way. Uh, and also, you might not like her at first, but later on you will. You will come to like her. Uh, you will like her mother, her stepfather, the uh, um, the parole officer, who I actually ended up loving that guy. Uh, not in a weird way. But, um, and you, you'll come to love every buddy in this film really or at least like them um so yeah there's twists and turns there's scary stuff there's some great cinematography some great lighting it's really funny i highly recommend this film you need to check this movie out it's on netflix right now so you have no reason no reason to not check it out go check it out housebound is a great horror film that was a quick review. I don't really have much else to say. You know, when it's a bad movie or it's a mediocre one, I have a lot of complaints and stuff. But this movie, I have no complaints besides maybe the ending's a little rushed. Maybe. Like, the actual ending. The, like, the last maybe 30 seconds felt a little rushed. They could have padded that out. Maybe a little bit longer so we could see all the other characters and whatnot. Um, but besides that, this is a great film. I highly recommend it. If you want to get spooked out a little bit, but you want to laugh a lot, and you want to like some of the characters and all that... Come on by. There's a lot of crazy, weird stuff in here that you're going to definitely enjoy and dig. It's highly recommended. I'm going to give this a 37 out of 40. Love this. I don't have many complaints, but it's not the like it's not the perfect movie. It has perfect things in it, like the comedy and stuff, but it's not a overall perfect film. But 37 out of 40, that's a high score. I highly recommend this. Oh, man. So that's the best movie I've reviewed this uh, month so far. I mean, Creep is definitely a great film. Definitely go check it out. But um, anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.